So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the live script in MATLAB 2020B to find the slope field or, or to sketch a slope field of this differential equation. Okay, and actually here I made a mistake in typing. Okay, and uh, then a sketch approximate solutions corresponding to these 12 initial conditions. Now, I have just done this that, you know, we have these uh, 12 initial values. They are, they are all spaced 0.25 points apart. So you shall see how you can just uh, describe them in MATLAB just by in one command line. So let's go to MATLAB first. So now we are, instead of using the command line, we are using the live script. So we'll go to new live script. And here we have a new live script. And the terminologies that I shall be using, I'm not going to explain them in this video. We will just flow through integrating everything together and in the description, I have uh, uh, mentioned the links to the previous videos in which, in which you can see the explanations of the terminologies that we use in the command, okay? So first, what I would do is that I shall create a mesh grid, okay, to, you know, for the plotting points. So mesh grid, all right. And we want, we'll go in the steps of point one to go from zero to four in uh, both the directions. Okay, so here we go and put this semicolon at the end so that it doesn't give us the, uh, you know, the whole output. And then our slope is this, right? dy dt is the slope. So the slope is. Uh, so we are taking, since we are taking u and v, and so we will just type in sine u, sorry, plus sine v here, okay? And then just suppress the output. And now wh what I'm doing is this, that remember this, 1m, you know, that will be the components of each segment in the, you know, in the direction vector that we plot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take its length and what that would be, the length would be one plus m square. And remember this here, that here, we are not using any formula. And so we will do this here. That is put a dot sign in front of the operator. And then quiver is going to give us the vector field Okay, so what we would do is we will just ask for quiver and remember this, the first component is one. So we, dot, we write that and again, we have to put a dot before the operator. Okay, and uh, then we can say axis, let's take equal axis and let's just make a smoothness. Let's just see how does the plot look like. So here is a plot and you know, it looks like a pretty good plot here, okay? So now we have to, you know, sketch the solutions corresponding to these initial conditions and then we are not solving it analytically. So what we will do is we will use the feature ODE45 that comes with MATLAB in the following manner. So let me bring up the live script. So now first I will ask you to, I ask it to hold on to the graph because we want the solutions on the top of the slope field. And then what we would do, we will define a function handle. And remember I have, uh, for all these terminologies, I have posted the previous videos. Okay, so this is uh, at ty, okay. And our function is what? sine t plus sine y, okay? And then we are going to define the pair ty by this, that is uh, the 
approximation created by uh, this ODE 45. So our T is ranging from 0 to 4, right? Okay. And then we have, uh, what we will do now is that we shall plot the initial condition. In this case, we have a luxury because the initial condition are just 10 values that are equally spaced uh, from 0 to 3, right? And let's suppress the output here again. And now I am going to just enlarge this, okay? So that we can see the entire output. So we will say plot ty because they are the pair of points, right? And uh, let's keep our line width as, say, yeah, let's keep it at 2, okay, which might be good in here, okay? And then what is our axis? Our axis here is uh, 0, 4, 0, 4, and then we are going to go control enter. All right, and here are our, all the curves, you know, the solution curves. If I do this, I will get a, I can make a bigger graph, can play with this. Okay, uh, go to edit. Then you can go to, go to figure properties. All right, and then you can look at axis, label the axis and do all that. So I'll let you play with that, okay? All right, so here are, you know, those uh, uh, solution curves, okay, using ODE 45, all right?